Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another Atlanta Brick Co. haul video. We're back with another bunch of awesome sets and minifigures and we've actually cleaned up back here so I can access it and see it so we know what's new and what's not. It's fantastic. All right, let's get started. We've got this very cool older 90s train box. It also has quite a few train tracks in here as well. And some of these look a little newer, some of these look older. It's very interesting. You've got the 9 volt um, split tracks, the, uh, the the transformer here. This one tested, it didn't actually work, but we do have the power cord, so I'll have to test to make sure the power cord works. These uh, connectors are also not in bad shape, so we might be able to salvage and clean these up and get them out for sale. I know these are always in demand. I know like uh, some of our viewers like Corey love trains, so we'll hopefully get this prepared and ready to sell. Down here we've got a bunch of speed champions, both the eight wide and the six wide ones, so couple different nice vehicles there. Those will get cleaned up and put up for sale. I like that Ferrari there. That's a nice one. All right. And we also had, I think, a bucket of track down here, but that's just the non-motorized track. We should still have plenty of that. Moving along, we've got some built sets here. We've got the very cool Technic uh, Catamaran, looks like. Got a little bit of Chima, a little bit of Ninjago uh, Brickheads, and a Technic, looks like the McLaren that's crash-landed in there. Over here, you've got the Jedi Shuttle. Got some more Chima. This is a pretty nice um, Phoenix Gate thing. It's pretty cool. You've also got a big built General Grievous down there. It's pretty nice. So these will all get cleaned up and put out for sale soon. Down here, you've got an entire bucket of Star Wars sets. So you got the Millennium Falcon on top. Let's see if we can lift it off and look underneath really quick here without breaking it. Here we go. So just a bunch of Star Wars, and I think I see a city set or something there. Got a built Obi-Wan, you've got the uh, Kylo Ren shuttle. You've got uh, just a bunch of vehicles in there. Some of them are, I think most of them are built, most of them are in pretty good shape. I even see a Minecraft set down there because I see a blaze. Interesting. We will clean these out, dust them off, get them priced and put up for sale in our built set cases soon. Over here on the back table, which we finally have a little room for, we have a couple nice built city sets with their boxes. So that's pretty unique. You've got the older airport set that we just got in with the plane, the airport, the box. Very nice. You've got this helicopter. This one doesn't have a box. We're pretty sure it's battle brick and it needs a little bit of fixing, maybe a piece or two missing. But uh, we'll get that up, uh, fixed up and put out with our military section. You've got a gas station with a car wash here. That one also has this box. I think it's right here. So these might even get certified. We'll see how busy some of our workers are and how, what their load looks like. But we'll see how that goes. Joe's giving me the, um, I don't know about that look. <laughs> and um, we've got this awesome construction crane here. It's very cool, very large. It also has its box. I think it's right here. So that's cool. Um, and then underneath here, Underneath the box for the airport, let me see if I can get it out here. You've got another older train set here. Now this one uh, not only has the box, but it seems to have the, the car and the engine itself. So you got that, see those silver wheels? That shows it has the old nine volt engine in there too. I don't see the track though, so. We might have to assemble some track for this or just sell the parts separately. We'll see. Around this side, we've got some Star Wars. You've got a, looks like an ATTE, one of the older versions is a little beat up, missing some pieces. We'll have to fix it up. Up here, you've got some of the newer Star Wars sets built. So those will go out for sale either in the cases or possibly even pick a brick. We'll see. Depends on where we have room. Over here, you have a couple of nice Star Wars sets. You have the uh, Wookiee gunship, you have the uh, Emperor's shuttle, a couple things like that. You've got the um, older version of the uh, Republic gunship looking really nice, and this tiny version of Boba Fett's starship. And that's about all we have for the built sets over here. Let's move to the front and have a look at the minifigures. All right, we've got some cool minifigures in this bin here. There's some Batman, there's some City, there's some Marvel, even seeing an older ghost figure looking great. We've, the most important one, I think, here is another General Grievous figure. Whoever traded these guys in must have liked General Grievous because you have the built one, you have the set, you got this one. He is missing a leg. Maybe it's in here somewhere. 
but uh, those lightsabers look great. A little bit of Shima. Some more DC. I like that uh, Robin with the camera looking really good. All right, and we've got another bin of figure parts down here. It also looks good. Tell them to shut up, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm filming! You would not believe how hard it is to get people to quiet down, guys. Just, just saying. Alright. Um, we've got another General Grievous here. He's the white version. He's got his extra arm. He might be missing one arm. You've got some Hidden Side. Those Hidden Side clowns looking very scary. Got a little bit of Ninjago. You've got a Minecraft Villager looking good. you got some Harry Potter and some Marvel Lord of the Rings. Ooh, there's a really nice uh, clone trooper in there, too. He looks great. You've got Ninjago. You've got one of our own Battle Break guys. Must have been a customer here. Or a customer at Battle Break that shopped right now. Got some Minecraft figures. Got some more clones. Got some Star Wars. Ninjago. Harry Potter. Lots of individually bagged figures in here looking really good. <laughs> Over here, you got a big bag of City and some DC. I also see a uh, underwater Iron Man looking really cool. You've got some of the monochrome figures from the Everyone is Awesome set. You've got some Star Wars here. I'm seeing a little bit of maybe some Marvel. I see some Shang-Chi. And a few more clones down here as well. So a big bundle of quite good minifigures. These will all get processed and put out for sale. So looking forward to that. We'll keep everyone busy. There's some rare Star Wars in there too. You got the Lando Calrissian. All right, let's move on to some of the sealed sets really quick. Here. Over in these bins here, or this box, we've got some boxes, but also some very cool Star Wars sets. We're looking at the Clown and Scout Walker. 20th anniversary edition looks like it is sealed it might be seals might be broken i don't know we'll see but that one is nice you've got this bad boy pre vizsla's mandalorian fighter which is really awesome and includes the very very collectible pre vizsla figure this box is like mint so i'm really excited to see this come in and i believe it's sealed so very exciting we'll have that out for sale and i'm sure it's not going to be cheap but let us know if you're interested. We've got a really good, uh, pristine example of it here. You've got an A-Wing Starfighter, slightly older version. You got the uh, Rogue One style box art. Got some Speed Champions here as well. Love the Lotus, looking good. A little bit more Star Wars. You've got a Battle Pack, Snow Trooper Battle Pack. I think this is a slightly newer one. Ooh. You've got an older battle pack. This is the old Mandalorian battle pack. Not super expensive, but still very, very cool. Very old. Got that Captain Rex box art there. We've got one of the Luke Skywalker's X-Wing fighter here. Very nice. Got Kylo Ren's shuttle. And you've got the newer Millennium Falcon here too, as well as a small Hoth Trooper battle pack. Very cool. All right, there's a few more sets in the back. Let's go look at those. All right, we've got a bunch of sealed sets back here as well. Now, most of these are pretty common. I mean, you're seeing some video, you see some Harry Potter, a couple of promotional sets in here too. But one thing that I do like that you don't see that often anymore is these older Marvel and Ninjago sets. So you've got an older um, Corvus Glaive Thresher attack, which includes um vision black panther just some of the really good characters in that set it's pretty desirable and this box is mint so really like liking that a lot you've also got the awesome master Wu's dragon i don't see that the title on the box so that's very interesting might be a european box art but it looks great and it's up for it's gonna be out for sale soon um you got a newer marvel set that'll go out with the other ones you got an older battle pack here First Order Transport Speeder Battle Pack. You got a little bit of Jasmine and Mulan and some friends and minions down here too. Ooh, we've also got the Gargantos Showdown, which looks pretty cool. Over here, we've got a couple of city sets. Some of these are the um, Volcano Starter Set and the um, Jungle Explorers. Some of the better, more recent city themes, I think. And um, over here, you got a little bit of Friends, one of our lighting kits, some promotionals, a little bit of Marvel, Star Wars, 
you name it, we've got it. But yeah, that's about all we've got for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll have a bunch more stuff throughout the week, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.